Hey guys, new knife review. Um, finally getting around to reviewing the Griptilian I just picked up. Uh, it is the Doug Ritter version. Uh, so it's got the S30V blade. Uh, I wish I had a normal uh, Griptilian to compare this to. It would really make it easier, but it's uh, it's got more more heft to it. It's got a taller blade. Um, the very attractive stone wash finish. This is definitely my favorite finish on. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't really seen it on uh, any other steels other than S30V. I don't know if a softer steel would make a difference, but it comes out looking gorgeous on the steel. Um, but otherwise, it's just the just normal griptilian. Uh, you got the plastic Zytel, whatever the uh, handles are on these guys and you have the access lock which makes it very easy just to keep your fingers out of the way when you're deploying and folding it back up uh, and the, the jimping on this model is a little more aggressive uh, there, there's a good review on this knife um, I, I forget the I don't even know how to pronounce it, it might be like Damacy or uh, whatever he, he introduces himself as Tactical 101 uh, it's D-E-M-I-S-S-I-E-101. -S -S -E I think that's his username. Uh, he has an excellent review on this particular blade. And um, I wanted to get one, and I watched his review, and that was that. I just had to order it right away, because he actually gave a link to where you can get them uh, at Aeromedics. So, very cool. I like his reviews a lot, and I uh, figured I'd throw this up now that I have it. Um, the fit and finish is nice. I just, I'm not really a fan of these handles. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get the Wilkins uh, grips for this. Um, you can get those through more cutlery, I believe. Um, they completely change the knife. Uh, they're, they're G10 grips. Right now they only have kind of a weird translucent green, white, kind of looks like a glow-in-the-dark material. Uh, and then they have, I think they have orange, but I, I really want black or a darker green maybe, like an OD. That would be really good looking. So, I might have to wait a little bit uh, till I get those. But, uh, they probably, I think they run about 130 bucks. so all said and told, it's going to be like a $230 knife. Uh, but it's, with the Axis Lock, G10 handles, S30V blade, it's razor sharp, it's good looking. Um, I just, I don't see how uh, you can go wrong. And it is definitely razor sharp. I'll do a paper cut here. I mean, you can just... It, it's... It's just... It's just ridiculous. Um, I hope it holds that edge for a while too because it is the S30V. It'll be, uh, it'll be nice if it holds it a while. But uh, I will uh, get around to... I want to get a, one of those central machinery uh, gr uh, belt sanders from Harbor Freight. They're like 35 bucks. I think there's a local uh, Harbor Freight store. I'm going to go try to pick one up so I can maintain all my knives. Um, now this, this knife offers an excellent uh, blade to handle ratio. you got a very large blade for how big the handle is on this guy. Um, I, I watched a review, a very good comparison between this and a paramilitary. Uh, very large handle on that knife, and not much blade. But the only thing I have right around is the, uh, my SMF. It has a pretty good blade, but uh, the handle's pretty large on it. I'll show you some comparisons here. So this is the two. The Strider is definitely a, a much larger blade uh, in the closed position. I'm not sure how they're going to compare when we open them up, but. When you open the Benchmade, you have a pretty large size blade uh, for what it offers, or for what, compared to the handle. Uh, now this, it has a longer reach, but the cutting edge, like, you just get a lot of workable, like, cutting edge on this end. It's just a really good all-around blade. I haven't had the Strider out in a while. I miss this guy. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to uh, start carrying this again. I've been carrying this one for a while now. 
but the Strider. I mean, come on. All right, let's not turn this review pro all to the Strider here. I'm gonna get him out of the way. But anyway, uh, no, it, it's fantastic. I had the D2 version from Cabela's, the Cabela's only D2 uh, Griptilian, which is the only other one I would buy. I don't really, I mean, it's a hundred dollars even that one. This one was 118, um, so it's really not that much more. Oh, another thing is um, the pocket clips are a much more durable finish. It's not that shiny paint, uh, kind of like an Ontario Rat one has on their clip and blade, uh, but it's much more, much more durable. It's a matte finish, so I think it'll last much longer. But overall, very happy with the knife. Uh, it's, fairly lightweight. I don't really notice when I have it on me. Uh, the axis lock is always fun to just play with, flick it around. Uh, so, definitely happy. Um, I have, The next review I have coming, uh, it's a, a very, very neat item. I'm going to give you a little, uh, I guess a little teaser here to show you a little bit of it. I should have this guy up. Uh, well, in the next few days, I've been doing some uh, some usage videos with it, but uh, give you a little bit. Hmm. A lot of you probably already know what that is, uh, but we will leave it for next time. So that's that. All right. If I uh, if anybody has any questions, just send me a message. Um, can't think of anything else really to say on this one. So, alright, later.